In today's video, we're going to be comparing the Malinois and the Flat Coated Retriever. Both of these amazing breeds were bred to work, but in vastly different fields. Let's see how they compare head to head. Welcome back to the Fenrir Malinois Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about Malinois and then how to become a high level canine leader that can raise perfect Malinois. So if you're a lifelong Malinois lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Malinois, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Malinois video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll take a deeper look at the main differences between these two breeds. Let's dig right into each breed's histories and get a better look at how our cherished modern canines were developed. The Malinois is actually one of four dogs belonging to the Belgium Shepherd Dog. Each of the four were named after the region they were developed in. These dogs were originally bred to herd and protect flocks. In the late 1800s, each of the four types of Shepherd Dog were given their own breed standards that set them apart. Over time, the Malinois became specialised in personal protection and today fills many working roles. They're popular with the police force and the military for their stamina and for being smaller than German Shepherds. They even played a part in both world wars. The flat-coated retriever originated in England and was bred as a gamekeeper's dog. They're said to descend from the now extinct St. John's water dog, but it remains unverified. After being introduced to the US, these dogs became increasingly popular as gun dogs, but their popularity didn't last long as it was quickly overshadowed by the golden retriever and by the end of World War II, so few remained that the breed's future was uncertain. However, in the 1960s, careful breeding brought the dogs back from the brink of extinction. Today, they're kept as companions and used in sports and confirmation showing. Moving on to appearance, these dogs look nothing alike. They're similar in size, but that's about it. The Malinois ranges from 56 centimeters to 66 centimeters, while the flat-coated retriever ranges from 56 to 61 centimeters. Respectively, they weigh between 22 kilograms to 30 kilograms and 25 kilograms to 36 kilograms. Their grooming needs are also extremely different. The Malinois has a short, coarse coat. They have a very thick undercoat. They need to be groomed weekly to keep up with it and more when shedding season rolls around. These dogs are also prone to dermatitis, so it's important to carefully choose any bathing products for them. The flat-coated retriever has a medium to long coat that will require daily brushing to keep it free from mat and tangles. They also enjoy being in water and will need to be bathed regularly as they are prone to picking up mud. But this means that it's important to keep a close eye on their ears and to dry them thoroughly. Trapped water can lead to ear infections. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I wanted just to quickly let you know, if you're interested in watching more videos about me actually working with dogs, following the cases of the behavior modification programs and the different training programs that I implement, as well as me training and raising my own dogs, then we've got a dedicated channel to that exact thing. It's called Fenrir Canine Training. There's tons of videos on there and there's multiple new videos of me working with dogs and some of our Fenrir certified trainers working with dogs to give you incredible levels of value and to help you have perfect canine companions just like these guys here. So there'll be a link in the description box below. I can't wait to see you over on that channel. This moves us into trainability for each breed. The Malinois is very intelligent and handles training very well. Being as they're so sensitive to their surroundings and alert, they can pick up on commands very quickly. They do well with clicker training and positive reinforcement. Though they can be independent and those new to the breed may find training somewhat of a challenge. Because these dogs are sensitive, it's important to make sure training is done properly and never in a harsh manner. It can cause a negative impact on the dog's behavior. It's also important to note that because this breed was made to protect, they should not be trained to protect as they could become aggressive. Flat-coated retrievers are also extremely intelligent, but you wouldn't expect anything less from a breed descending from the Border Collie. Though they can be strong-willed and have a mind of their own at times, they do need a calm, consistent leader to understand their needs and to put them on the right path. This is partially due to the fact that they mature more slowly than other breeds. This naughty behavior can make new owners want to rush training and correct behavior, but it's important to give the flat-coated retriever time to mature into a proper adult. So it's very important to never rush their training. 
Much like the Malinois, they don't do well with harsh correction. Both are wonderful dogs that love to be with people and love to please. Malinois are very affectionate with their family and love any children that they consider to be their own. They love to be included in whatever the family is doing and love to play, but it's best to supervise playtime with kids as they can get a little too playful. Though some members of the breed may be aggressive towards other dogs, that's why socialisation from an early age is so important. The Malinois was bred to protect most and foremost and they won't hesitate to step in if they feel their family is in danger. So a devoted leader and obedience training are a must. As well as extremely active lifestyle as these dogs need hours of intense exercise a day. The flat-coated retriever gets on well with children, other dogs and cats as long as they are raised around them. Though they tend to take after their collie ancestors and are all go, go, go. That's no problem for someone with an active lifestyle though, but others may find them hard to keep up with. Training is also important for this breed because they mature more slowly than other breeds. Though unlike the Malinois, the flat-coated retriever makes for a rather poor guard and personal protection dog. This friendly breed may bark to alert the family when someone passes or if there's a threat, but they won't do much protecting. This makes them more suited to be a watchdog, if anything. Those looking for a protection dog are much better off choosing the Malinois due to their breeding and nature. That's what they're made to do after all, but they do make a good companion for the right family who understands their needs. Those looking for a companion more than a protection dog will do well to select the flat-coated retriever. The active and friendly dog will make a fine addition to almost any family. I hope you've enjoyed today's video, if so please make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section down below and don't forget that if you're new here make sure you subscribe as we have two dedicated Malinois videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Malinois show.